I need somebody Help Not just anybody Help You know I need someone Hello, I'm Andrew Duncan with the Duncan Duo at Remax, the official real estate agents of the Tampa Bay Lightning. Make sure to keep tuning in to our video blog here at TampaRealEstateVideos.com, as well as our Facebook fan page. We do some really cool giveaways. We've got a couple of autographed hockey sticks. We've got an autographed uh, Team Lightning jersey. And as the official real estate agents of the Tampa Bay Lightning, we'll do all kinds of cool promotions. So if you're a Lightning fan, make sure to follow us on all of our social channels and tune in because you'll have a chance to win some cool stuff, including... Uh, tickets to games, Blue Line Club seats, uh, as well as a whole lot of other fun opportunities. But I want to talk to you today um, about how you interview or how you check into the resume of a real estate agent before you hire them. It's amazing what's happening in the real estate industry because for decades we've had MLS books and websites and we've always kind of had the keys to the castle, so to speak, when it uh, comes to data. But that's changing dramatically. Now you can go online and look at a Zillow profile and see how many past sales someone has. Look at their reviews from their past clients. And I think it's really important as the industry evolves and changes more and more people are getting into the real estate agent business that don't know how to get you to the closing table, that haven't ever sold a home or sold only a few homes a year. They're not really experienced enough for you to trust them with your most important asset and the most expensive thing that you're ever going to sell. When you decide to hire a real estate agent, Google them, look at their website, look at their accomplishments, look at the homes that they've sold, look at their statistics. If that information isn't transparent and you can't easily find it, there's probably a reason for that. Zillow is amazing in that you can go online and see everyone's past sales and reviews. If they don't have their past sales or, or a lot of reviews on Zillow, as the number one home search site, I think you have to be skeptical about whether or not they know how to get exposure on that website for your home. So really look into the resume, look at the reviews, look at their past sales, look at you know the people, their reputation, all those types of things come into play. Most of it is becoming public information today. So Zillow and Trulia now have past sales. They have listings of homes that have sold. They have reviews from customers. And I think the reviews from customers are important because all of these websites are focused on giving you authentic reviews. They can't be faked. Um, you know, just like video testimonials for us, you know, we have hundreds of them on our website to talk about the experience of people working with us. We also have hundreds upon hundreds of five-star video reviews on Zillow and Truly and Realtor.com. So if you're thinking about hiring an agent, before you sign up with them, look into it. Ask them about that. Why don't they have a presence on Zillow? Why aren't they on Realtor.com with a profile? These are things that really matter because if they're not, if they're not marketing themselves in those channels, how can you be confident they're going to do a great job marketing your home or finding new homes on those websites if they don't even know how to market themselves? sells on them. So really, really important. Make sure to Google your agent. If your agent tells you how many homes they've sold, ask them to prove it. Uh, and if it's not listed on one of those websites, I'd be skeptical. Uh, but certainly you want to make sure to validate and verify everything your real estate agent tells you. Because unfortunately, just like in any industry, there are people who will uh, be dishonest and say things that aren't really true. So thanks so much for tuning in here at TampaRealEstateVideos.com. Uh, I'm Andrew Duncan with the Duncan Duo, and this has been your tip of the week on how to interview and view the resume of your real estate agent online. I need somebody help, not just anybody help. You know I need someone.